Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Scotland's education system was once the very best in the world. It was lauded, it was praised, indeed it was aspirational. People from other countries would look at it and think, yes, we need a system like that here. But alas, after 17 years of SNP misrule, that is no longer the case. It has diminished, it has dwindled, it has reduced, and is now a shadow of its former self. And indeed it is on now a par with that of Romania. A system that once produced some of the most marvellous minds of men and women who went out into the world and made their mark is now gone. It is history. It is nothing. And this is not uh, some indirect result of the SNP's obsession with independence. Far from it. It is actually policy. It was deliberate. It was what the upper echelons of the SNP absolutely needed to happen. They cannot have a good and proper education system in Scotland in case it produces people clever enough to question the SNP, their motives, their policies and ask why? Why are you doing this? What is wrong with you? And so ultimately the education system had to go. I think the children of Scotland deserve better. But we'll have a look at this article and see why it has gone and why it will be so hard to fix. Here goes. So Scotland's education system under the SNP, 16, 17 years now of SNP rule, is on par with Romania over a shameful refusal to publish exam results. They will not publish the results because they are ashamed of them. They know that they will be looked at and seen as what they are utter repudiation of everything the SNP stands for, the destruction of an education system and the destruction with it of all the futures of these young people who utterly rely on having an education, on having exam results in order to further themselves and in order to uplift the entire nation. But that's not what the SNP wants. The Scottish Government was blasted for being one of the only countries in the world to refuse to publicly publish exam results and comes after they pulled out of the international league tables in 2010 after plummeting down them so fast it would make your head whirl. It doesn't say there, but that's the truth. Scotland's education system under the SNP has been compared to Romania due to the nationalists' shameful decision not to share centralised exam results with parents or the public. A report found that the country is only one of a few across the world not to do this. Though, of course, they're not going to do it. They would be utterly ashamed at how far down the table it's gone. When you would have third world countries, which probably don't even have proper schools, sitting higher in the tables than Scotland. Uh, it has led to ac accusations that it was a cynical ploy of the Scottish government to withdraw from projects like this to hide their failure. Nicola Sturgeon claimed that her defining mission as First Minister was to eliminate the attainment gap. And she has, because now no one in Scotland attains anything. Uh, you know, and it, it is going to get a lot worse. And that is why so many people, they lord, look, oh, you get free education, free university education. And yet it is filled with foreigners, not English, foreigners from all over the world apart from England, because of the blatant racism of Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP. But there's very few Scottish children going because they can't get the results because the schools are so bad. Uh, the OECD report, Education at a Glance, says most countries disseminate the results of national and central assessments aggregated at a county or state level through press releases to the media and make them available to the general public through a public website. However, in the Slovak Republic, aggregated results are only available upon request and in Romania and Scotland, they do not share any results simply because they are ashamed of them. They are utterly ashamed of what has happened to the Scottish education system. It is a further blow to the SNP's claims that they are run as one of the most transparent administrations in the world. Three quarters of the nations that share results do so on websites, while two fifths share press releases directly with the media. Education chiefs in Scotland have already been slated for keeping data hidden over the year. And in 2010, the country pulled out of several well-respected 
international education surveys because they were falling down so quickly. Because they won't put money in. They won't hire the best teachers. They won't give facilities to schools. They won't let children learn at the things that they absolutely need to learn. They must only learn the approved education system that shows the SNP in the greatest possible light and shows that Scotland must be an independent country. It is brainwashing, it is gaslighting, and it is no different from North Korea or China or Soviet Russia. Uh, there are no longer part of the trends in international mathematics and study and science study and in the progress in international reading literacy study because both of them would show that they're really bad at maths now and can barely read. Scotland is producing innumerate and illiterate children at a greater rate now than ever before. At the time, the then education system, uh, secretary, sorry, Michael Russell, claimed they were doing so to save money and reduce bureaucracy for teachers, both of which is a load of old cobblers. However, the decision came at the same time as the global comparators showed the country tumbling down the league tables ever so quickly. In 2006, Pearls noted that Scotland was demoted from 14th place in literacy and reading to 21st out of 40 countries, and the time the Tim's report ranked them from 2007 ranked 20th of 36 countries in maths to 22nd. So again, falling and not so big a bigger fall, uh, but falling still from both science and reading and maths. Hamza Youssef confirmed after he took over as first minister that he would be looking to rejoin these international education surveys in 2026. But Tory education spokesman Liam Kerr described the move as shameful because he hasn't and he really doesn't have any kind of plan to do so because he knows that when he does and goes back in, it will make Scotland look like a bunch of innumerate illiterate fools, which of course was always the plan. If you have people too stupid to question the numbers and that can't read the reports, then nobody will question what you're doing. That's the plan. He added, the withdrawal was a cynical move. This is uh, Liam Kerr speaking. He said, the withdrawal was a cynical move to save face because Scotland was plummeting down league tables under the SNP's mismanagement. Calls have been made for the SNP to share their data, to allow parents to make informed decisions and, to, uh, and for public bodies to be held to account. Lindsay Patterson, Professor Emeritus of Education Policy at the University of Education, told the Times there is a lesson for Scottish policymakers that if we want to make better policy in Scotland, we need to place ourselves much more systematically in an international framework of comparison. And they won't, because of course they won't. They daren't. They dare not show the truth that they are a failed nation. They do not want to show parents that their children have been abandoned and been basically forced to be stupid and uneducated as a direct result of their policy. Pam Duncan Glancy, Labour's education spokeswoman, also called on the SNP to comply with international standards to publish detailed data. Fat chance of that. The Scottish Government said, we do not publish data from the nationalised standardised assessment for Scotland, as these are formative assessments that provide diagnostic information for schools and teachers. Outcomes are not reported at a national level, as this is not consistent with the purpose of the assessments. Then why is Hamza Youssef saying he will then forwardly from 2026 publish them? Has the rules changed? Are they now not seen and the exact same reason that you're saying you're not publish them? Are you are you not gonna are you gonna continue continue not publishing them after 2026 for that reason, even though Hamza Youssef says that they will be published? Someone's lying, someone is telling a massive untruth, someone is deeply, deeply ashamed of what they have done to Scotland's education. I'm coming up. I think it's clear to see that they have destroyed education. They've, they've, they've done so deliberately, uh, but they don't want people to know that they've done so. And they certainly don't want people to know that they've done it deliberately. And that is, of course, why they're not publishing these figures. And they're not putting it into the league tables because they know where Scotland would sit very, very low on any international list. Uh, and they they don't want it to be obvious that that's what their intention was all along. If you have stupid people, they can't ask questions because they don't know what's being done to them. And that's sad. Anyway, I shall finish there. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. I do hope it's opened your eyes. I do hope it's educated you. Something has to in Scotland. 
because it certainly isn't the schools. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, read a book and question them. Bye.